Uh, okay, here's here's another thing with selecting. Okay, so let's say you wanna select. Uh, let's select this whole thing right in the center here. Okay, so you got that selected. If you s do select inverse, it'll select the entire picture. Now, this this is a really bad example to use, but if you're um say uh, doing say you're tracing a, a character or an uh, image or with the the lasso tool, and you want to actually get that character itself, you can do select inverse, and all those marching ants will go and attach itself to the image that you're trying to get. But yeah, this is a really bad image. I'll have to show you another image at a later date on how to do that. I'll probably be doing a lot more tutorials, so you'll get the the handle of it. So let's see. Um, the filters. Uh, filters are very important. Another thing you'll probably be using a lot. Um, filters are how a lot of people who make signatures for forums get their effects on certain things. Like, let's see, if I go to distort, and I'll go to ripple. There's a, there's a lot of filters here. I'm not gonna go through every single one. So if you oh, let me zoom out a little bit here. So if I take that ripple and go max, see how the ripple effect takes place, and we'll make the size large, and I hit OK, see what happens to what I had in the picture? It's now rippled. See, that's what um, filters can do. So um, now, you know, also you got liquify. If you click on liquify, it'll bring up a whole new window, and you'll, you, know, you can liquify your image just like that, see how the things can liquefy. This is really good if you ever want to move like, like a double chin on someone. Liquify tool can be pretty cool, but yeah, you can mess up very easily with the liquify tool. Um, let's see. Let's see. If you want to get the rulers on, here's view rulers. If you want to ever have the rulers, you probably need the rulers if you need help measuring. Um, it's pretty important there. Window, we are whenever window. If you ever need a palette to appear. You just go to window and you select that palette. Um, now though, you probably want the navigator open. Navigator's at the top here. It's a little mini image. It allows you to move around the image. Yeah, you can you know, look at your image in a smaller way so you get a better look at it. Why isn't it moving? Oh, here we go. The zoom. See, just like that. You can zoom in, zoom out. It's pretty cool. Uh... Oh yeah, the the short here's a here's a hot key for you if you ever have the zoom tool. Uh, if you hold Control, I think also Command on Mac and hit the minus sign, it will zoom right out there for you. So you don't have to select the zoom tool. I think I was saying that before, but I had to get up from my computer and I forgot. So that's yeah you know, the, the need to know stuff on the menu just like that. Um, let me see. What is there anything else? Actually, I think that it is, covers most of the basics that you'll need to know to get yourself started on Photoshop. Um, I'll probably be making another tutorial about how to repair pictures soon, and probably I'll probably be doing one on how to make a form signature soon. So just stay tuned to my YouTube YouTube account because most of my videos are going to be YouTube exclusive because I don't have a web page and I don't plan to have a web page. So that is the end of my tutorial. Let me know what you think.